In your school news tonight, an Oregon Secretary of State's audit says the Department of Education can better support students experiencing disabilities. NBC5's Mariah Mills is live in studio with what this means locally. Mariah? Amanda, the audit released this month reveals there's a lack of resources for students in Oregon who have disabilities. It says the biggest issues are a shortage of special education teachers and a lack of funding. We're finding students with more profound needs uh, on multiple levels of need from academic to communication to behavioral. An audit done by the Oregon Secretary of State's office says for the 2018-19 school year, 80,000 children in kindergarten through 12th grade were identified as students experiencing disabilities. The audit claims only one-third of Oregon children in special education courses received an adequate level of services. Less professionals, more students identified, the challenges become greater and greater to meet the needs of those students. Ryan Munn is the secondary special education coordinator for Central Point School District 6. He says the problems statewide are much the same as in his district. Our teachers are incredible people, but we simply need more people like them to do this job better. The state's audit says Oregon schools receive twice the standard per student allocation of state funds for students with disabilities, but it only applies to 11% of a school district student population. But with many districts exceeding the 11% cap, they aren't getting adequate funding. We are at about 15% of our, our total student population is identified for special education. So we have to be creative in the use of our funding to make sure that we're getting quality services to all their students. But that's just one of the issues the audit points to. Rural schools are at a disadvantage in special education, according to the audit. One of the things that um, is difficult in our district, and really regionally here in Southern Oregon, is um, getting people within the field who are qualified to, to live in our area. The Oregon Department of Education says it agrees with most of the audit, specifically figuring out funding to meet adequate service levels in future school years. Live in studio, Mariah Mills, NBC5 News.